What's up everybody? My name is Shadow Phoenix. Welcome back to Planet Coaster and welcome back to King's Falls. My own kind of take on a King's Island, King's Dominion, Kanda's Wonderland kind of park. Uh, it's basically a what if, what if King's Island and King's Dominion and all those parks were never bought out by Paramount and Cedar Fair? What if they stayed among the original operators and owners of all of the parks and kind of went off and they built a third King's Park with the Aqua Tower and everything. And that's kind of the general idea of what we're doing here. So what are we doing today though is we are going to be adding our first flat ride to the park. Um, we've pretty much finished most of International Street. We got our first big dueling coaster in there, much like the Racer at King's Island. And now I wanted to add our first flat ride into the game to kind of uh, put, kind of pull some things together and kind of get an idea of where the part's going to head. So I still don't really know where we're going to go after this just yet, but I do know that I wanted to do this right here. So uh, I took a cue from King's Dominion with their Berserker uh, swinging ship here. Unfortunately, we don't have a ship in the game that will go completely inverted. Uh, this is the closest one we have. And, unfortunately, you cannot put it over top of water either. It's really, really hard to make it work if you try to put it over top of water. Um, it just, the bases and stuff that they give us with Planet Coaster just are horrible for this thing. And I really wish it just didn't have this huge base on it and that we could just put it wherever we wanted and have it swing over top of water. But, nope, can't do that. So, I had to figure out a way to work around that. Um, I did try really, really hard. I tried some st working around with some stuff with... Uh, using some of the flume pieces. I tried, like, you know, the, the splashdown of the flume, I tried putting that under it, and I mean, that kind of works, but it just wasn't working for me for what I wanted to do here. So instead, I just pretty much kind of copied what King's Dominion has and kind of went a little bit of my own way here. So uh, we have our Spanish area there off of Main Street, and this is kind of where this comes off of. So I decided to theme our ship, our swinging ship, to a Spanish pirate ship kind of or a Spanish galleon so to speak uh, like a Spanish treasure ship I guess you could say I think it would be more it wouldn't really be more of a pirate ship it'd be more of a uh, kind of what the pirates would be after I guess <laughs> even though there's nothing I can do about it. it does have a pirate symbol on the back of the ship so it is what it is uh, I guess you could come up with your own story about the actual ship itself but yeah I decided to call it El Galleon uh, which is Spanish for the galleon. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, it kind of comes right off the Spanish side of the street, right in the middle between Spanish and Italy on International Main Street. So you would walk in between those two, and then this would be, you'd have a street kind of coming off of there, and it would be right in front of you as soon as you come off of International Main Street, so right off to the side. Uh, very much like King's Dominion. So I also decided to go with, uh, since King's Dominion is... Uh, King, King's Island and Canada's Wonderland both have a swinging ship and both of their swinging ships are over top of water Which is like I was saying earlier like something I wanted to do But since I couldn't I had to make it I looked and looked and looked at um, King's Dominion ship and I tried basically kind of went my own way with that I did my best to try to make it fit in with a, a land-based kind of thing a landlocked I guess you could say uh, and that's kind of what we went with. So I decided to put the ship itself would be on one side and then our station would be on the back side of it. So the first thing you would see once you stepped off International Main Street would be the giant swinging ship. Uh, we would have a fence, which you see me make here in a little bit, kind of covering up the ride platform. Um, I took and painted the pathing or, or the actual base itself into more of a um, land looking kind of thing uh, and then I kind of built up the land around a little bit we have our uh, as you can see what I'm doing right here I, I put my pass and stuff right around there so yeah um, and it's all right in the middle of this big circular path that you saw me do earlier so uh, I do know that the building of this is kind of going pretty fast right now um, again I'm sorry about that it's, it's about three hours of footage cut down here and I didn't want too long of a video so that is kind of what I'm going with um, I don't really have much else to really to say about this. Uh, towards the end, um, I, I ended up redoing the roof a little bit. I used those Spanish tile technique that I used for Main Street, and I think it came out much, much better. Uh, and then I also built up kind of a, like a little Spanish fortress, which is kind of the idea of the queue line and the station and stuff for it. Um, all in all, I really think it came out really, really well. 
And it kind of gives me an idea on where to go off of this side of the street. So, yeah. The next thing I got to do is figure out where we're going to go from here. Uh, and I don't really specifically know. Um, so I'm going to really have to look at it. I think I need to spend some time on Main Street and, like, start doing some gardening and stuff on Main Street. Putting flowers and stuff down. I really think it could maybe use some of that. So that may be the next video. Or we may go on and do maybe another ride or something. Um, or just kind of work off of this. don't really know where we're going to go from here. But nonetheless, um, I don't have a whole lot else to say about, you know, what we decided to do with this. Uh, I just want you guys to kind of enjoy the video, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying my King's Fall series. And uh, it's it's good to be back and making these daily videos, although this one is kind of late. Uh, I, like I said, I had some issues kind of getting this together. Uh, Vegas wasn't wanting to work right. It kept crashing on me and like freezing in the middle of the render. So uh, hopefully I can do this one here and get it up before midnight anyway. <laughs> uh, but hey, nonetheless, most of you guys will be able to watch it tomorrow. So that works for me. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. If you're not already following me on Twitter, make sure you do that as well. If you're not subscribed to me here on YouTube, make sure you click that button down below that says subscribe. Uh, and click that bell to be notified of when I go live with my new videos. And I will try to be doing daily videos as much as I can. Uh, next one, I will see you tomorrow with another Sims 4 episode. And we will also be doing another House Flipper episode, I think, tomorrow as well. And I've got some other stuff planned for the rest of the week as well. So until then, thanks so much for watching. Wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys.